What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. Fucking amazing movie. Mission Impossible Fallout. Say what you will about Scientology. Say what you will about Risky Business, which is an amazing movie. Say what you will about Mission Impossible 2. Probably one of the worst Mission Impossibles, but also one that I've watched many times in the past growing up. At the time, DVDs were a thing, and I would put them on, and that would just be a fun, for some reason, fun, stupid one. Because I want to see doves in slow motion. Right? John Woo? Is that right? John Woo did it? Anyway, Fallout. Here, let me, this director. I need to, did he do the last one? Christopher McQuarrie. Who, he was the writer for Usual Suspects. Writer for Edge of Tomorrow. Another great one, The Mummy. Eh. Which I, oh, I think that was the most recent Mummy. Um, no, I want to see his directorial shit. So we did Rogue Nation, which was the last one. Jack Reacher, never saw it. The Way of the Gun, underrated fucking movie. Go watch Way of the Gun. I love that movie, and get it. Make sure you're watching it on a good sound system. I was working at the movie theater when Way of the Gun came out in 2000. And I remember walking down the hall and hearing like what sounded like legit gunfire in a movie theater. This was way before theater shootings happened. Way before that. School shootings, yes. Theaters, no. Not yet. But, uh, yeah. Way of the Gun, so good. So good. Benicio Del Toro. Dude with... The the curls kind of looked like Justin Timberlake. Didn't really do a whole lot. Anyway, good good movie. Uh, so yeah, so s- makes sense. This dude's definitely gotten better and uh, does well with the budget. But Mission Impossible, Fallout. I'm a big fan of the series in general. The first one, tonally very different than a lot of the other ones. It became very much more of an action thing. But it's like around... I need to rewatch. It's one of those franchises where J.J. Abrams came in and he kind of just fixed it. And now, like, it's, it's back on track. And this one's probably, I don't know. I want to rewatch the, you know, not the second one. I start on three, maybe, and then three, four, five. And then I think this is six uh, in the series. They're not numbered. So, you know, there, there is that. But uh, I fucking love the series. One of the best franchises out. I happen to enjoy Tom Cruise. I don't care that he runs. He's good at it. It's impressive to me. Who cannot? Uh, He does his own stunts. I'm a huge Jackie Chan fan from way back in the day. From the first time I saw Rumble in the Bronx at Metro 8 Theater, which I still fucking go to today now that I'm back in the desert. Rumble in the Bronx blew my fucking mind. Jackie Chan did all of his own stunts, still working to this day, although he does a lot of wire stuff now. Um, but this movie, man, I immediately, I watched it today, just got home, and immediately driving home, I, like, I wish I was driving to another theater to watch this movie again. It's so much fun, so much action. The story is good like complex enough because of all the you know i mean it's like it's just like a spy thing so there's like you know double triple spies but it's like an interesting kind of a story not too complex but also not too fucking stupid like uh uh neon blonde like the plot of that movie anytime people are speaking in that movie it's just like the dumbest thing ever but this is just so much fun. And we have, like, characters that have been there forever, like 
uh, Simon Pegg and fucking Ving Rhames. Fucking love Ving Rhames. Fucking love Simon Pegg. Tom Cruise gets a pass even though he's insane. But he's like legitimately the closest thing we have in our reality to like a MacGyver or a superhero. Like because he... Because he does all these stunts, he knows how to like fly helicopters, ride motorcycles, drive cars, and do, you know, 50 year old parkour shit. I heard, I forget, I think it was on a podcast. I think it was all, thing, all Fantasy Everything. They brought this up, or Punch Up the Jam, one of those two podcasts. Somebody brought up Wolford Brimley. It was all, all Fantasy Everything. They were doing, they were, it's a, they podcast, they draft concepts one of the episodes they were drafting peep actors names or celebrities names that they look like their name wilford brimley i think went round one in the draft maybe round two somebody brought up that wilford the and i might be saying his name wrong the di- the diabetes guy the guy from cocoon he was the age he was filming cocoon from like the 80s is the same age as Tom Cruise now which if you're my age and you know what the fuck that blows people's minds it's insane I don't even know if it's true I heard it in a podcast and I've just kind of been repeating it Tom Cruise is a motherfucker man and this like there's every single action set piece like takes advantage of the fact that he's doing these stunts I think because it's insanity. I don't know how they did some of this fucking, some of these stunts. Some of the best, like, car chases. Clearly, Tom Cruise is going to run, and it's going to be one of the best foot chases. It's like, it's so good. It's such a good movie. I, I, I wish I had the money to purchase the entire catalog of this this franchise so I could just binge all of them and then go watch this movie again. I don't have that kind of scratch. So my 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 money's not set up like that right now. But uh yeah, so much fucking fun. By far one of the best action movies I have seen, one of the most fun movies. 007 can suck fucking uh hunt what the fuck is his name god damn it what is his name ethan hunt far better so good go fucking watch this movie people and then thank me come back and thank me maybe maybe you saw the first one and you kind of haven't kept up with it you're not into that spy shit you tried to watch 007 that fell off you're like fuck that i don't want to watch I, i'm done with those kinds of movies don't be done if you want to watch a fun action movie go see this movie and then if you agree with me follow me on twitter and on instagram at ray taylor because those are both of my social media things if you want to see the work that i do the artwork that i do the shows that i produce go over to inspireddisorder.com and if you want exclusive content making up videos uh discount codes if you want to collect my artwork you get to see the artwork way before anybody else does all kinds of exclusive content go over to patreon.com slash inspired disorder all the links are right up here in the bio so go do it click on it go support me and if more of you do it i can do a whole fucking run of these episodes reviewing all these movies but i hope you have a great week And if you are looking for fun, go watch Mission Impossible Fallout. It's so good. I love you, everybody. Peace out.